Okay, so let's start with races and head starts. So what is a head start? See, basically when people run a race, if people start at the same time, the person who is running faster will win the race. Now to make it more interesting, suppose one is A is like say clearly faster than B. What A can actually do to make the race more interesting or more closer is give B a head start. So if I'm running against a child, what I'll say is that you start a bit ahead of me or you start 10 seconds ahead of me. So I can give a head start in terms of time or I can give a head start in terms of seconds. So start a few seconds before me or start a few meters ahead of me. So this is basically what a head start is. Head start is that you start ahead of the competitor. Now what is head start? How do you actually write the equation for head start when it comes to uh, the time speed distance equations? How do you write the equation for head start? See if A and B are there and say A is the faster guy, he gives say they are running a one kilometer is. And say A gives B a head start of 100 meters. That basically means that and suppose that A gives B a head start of 100 meters and then they reach the finish line at the same time. Which means what? That after B started, uh, A waited till B completed 100 meters and after that A started running. So this becomes a question of constant time. So when A started running, the time that it took B to complete 900 meters is the same time it took A to complete 1000 meet, uh, 1000 meters or 1 kilometer. So since it is a question of constant time, we can say that distance covered by A in that time divided by speed of A will be equal to distance covered by B in that time divided by speed of B, which means that the time it takes A to cover 1000 meters, this is equal to the time it takes B to cover 900 meters. So you can say that the ratio of, sorry, this is A and that is B. So you can say the ratio of B, speed of B to speed of A is 900 by 1000, which is 9 by 10. So this is what you have to do. Whenever head start distance is given, say that, okay, 100 meters distance is given or 200 meters head start is given and then they reach the finish line at the same time. It becomes a question of constant time. So then say that the, the time that they were running together, the time which is constant for both of them, B ran 900 meters, in the same time A ran these many meters. So then you can say that since it is constant time, distance of A by speed of A is distance of B by speed of B, then get you get your equation. Now suppose instead of giving a head start of say distance, suppose I gave a head start of say time. So what do I mean by head start of time? So instead of saying that go ahead by 100 meters, I say that uh, I'll give you 10 seconds you start 10 seconds ahead of me. So that would basically mean that B runs for 10 seconds more than A. And suppose that they reach on the finish line at the same time. Now time is different, but the distance is same. Both are running a one kilometer race. They are running for different times, but they are running the same race. So this becomes a question of constant distance, which would mean that if the time taken by A is T seconds, the time taken by B will be T plus 10 seconds. The distance covered by both of them is the same. So speed of B into T plus 10 will be equal to speed of A into T. So if I give a head start in terms of distance, it's a question of constant time. If I give a head start in terms of time, it's a question of constant distance. So that is the idea that I will use each time to form a equation. Understood? Anybody has any questions, any this about it? So Anima, good to see that you are wearing a Krakow t-shirt and good to know that you are very motivated. I have a lot of expectations from you, Sonima, and I hope all of you guys, all of you guys who are watching our stream so regularly, Nitin, I see many of these names come every single time. I am very happy that you guys are coming so regularly and so motivated. And I want all of you to do really, really well. Okay? Okay. First case, when they finish in different time, first case, if they finish in different time, suppose A gives B a head start of say 100 meters, okay? And still, suppose A beats B by say 50 meters. That is, A started, this is one kilometer, B started from here, B reach end position was this, this is 100 meters, this is 50 meters. A started behind B, but beat B by 50 meters. That basically means the time that B covers 850 meters 
A covers how much? A covers 1000 meters. So even if it is given, this is basically called beat distance. I was coming to it next, but that is the basic idea. Whenever it is beat distance given or beat time given, then you have to basically say that, okay, this is the change. That, okay, if it is beat distance, the it's still a question of constant time. But here, beat distance also reduce, like head start reduces the distance covered by B, the beat distance also reduces the distance covered by B. So here, head start reduces 100 meter and the beat distance reduces another 50 meters. So B total covers only 850 meters in the time that A covers 1000 meters. So then again, you will get the ratio of their speeds. So this is basically beat distance, I will come, come to it again. But basically, I hope you understand, head start is the time given at the start of the race. Ki tu aage chale ja. Go ahead, I will start after you. So that is the time or distance given at the start of the race. Beat distance is the opposite. Beat distance is the distance at the end of the race. That is, if A and B end the race such that A is at the finishing line, okay, I am this side, okay, and B is say 100 meters behind, this 100 meters is the beat distance. The same idea applies. Suppose A and B started at the same time, A reached the finish line, B is 100 meters behind. So what is the idea over here? They ran for the same amount of time. So again, this becomes a question of constant time. So you can say that since they are running for the same time, the time taken by A to cover 1000 meters divided by speed of A, this time is same as the time taken by B to cover 900 meters divided by speed of B. So since this is a question of constant time, you can form the same equation. Distance of A divided by dis uh, speed of A is equal to distance of B divided by speed of B. Suppose both head starts and beat distance is there. Suppose this is 200 meters head start. Okay, B started 200 meters ahead and then ended up 100 meters behind. That still after taking a 200 meter head start, still A is ahead. Then you should say that B actually ran 1 kilometer minus 200 minus 100. So B actually ran only 700 meters. In that same time, A ran 1000 meters. So that would give you the new ratio of speed of B by speed of A. This is called beat distance. Now beat distance, you can give it beating, you can give it either in terms of distance or you can give it in terms of time. How would I say it in terms of time? What is in terms of time? So if it is A and B, so A and B start at the same time, but suppose A reaches the finish line and say B reaches the finish line, say five seconds later. So what does this mean? This means that for the distance that A covers in T seconds, B covers the same distance in T plus 5 seconds. This is basically time for A, this is time for B. Time is different but what is same? Distance is same. So you can say that speed of A is e into time is equal to speed of B into T plus 5. There is another relationship that you should remember. What is the relationship between the head start, uh, head start distance, head start time versus beat distance and beat time? See here, the beat distance is given, beat uh, distance or uh, like beating time is given in seconds. But if I say that, okay, how much is the beat distance? What would be beat distance? See, if the time is 5 seconds, who is running for this extra 5 seconds? B is running. So the beat distance will be basically this into speed of B is the beat distance. So either distance can be given or the time can be given. But either way, the speed that you have to consider whenever time is given, you have to say that that into speed of B is the beat distance. Or if beat distance is given, that divided by speed of B is the beat time. Okay. This is the idea of head start in terms of like either head start or beat. Okay. Beat means that you are falling behind. You are behind the, when that guy reaches the front line, you are behind either by seconds or by time. Okay. Uh, either by time or by distance. So the distance can be given or the time can be given. I will tell you a lot, uh, a common mistake that is made here by a lot of students is that, so what is given, I will tell you what often like, uh, is a common error. So it will be given say A is at 10, 10 meters per second, B is some uh, this as such and say 8 meters per second or uh, whatever and it is given that say A beats B by say 5 seconds. Okay, the length of the track is not given, A beats B by 5 seconds. A lot of uh, students make the mistake of multiplying a speed by the beat, dist, uh, beat time. 
So they will say, okay, 10 meters per second, 5 seconds. He was behind by 50 seconds, 50 meters. No, whenever there is beat distance or head start, you have to multiply the person who was slower. So here if I say, what was the beat distance? What should you multiply? Should you multiply by 10 meters per second or 8 meters per second? You should multiply by the guy who was beat. So here B was beaten, right? So it should say that 5 seconds was run by B. So this B covered this distance in 5 seconds. He ran at 8 meters per second, which would mean that he covered 8 meters per second into 5 seconds, which is 40 meters. So if you are saying, okay, beat distance or head start distance or beat time versus head start time, the multiplier has to be of the guy who is getting that head start or who is getting the beat. So that is basically what you have to remember. This is where a lot of people make a mistake. Understood? Guys are okay with the understanding of what is head start, what is beats? Will you be covering circular tracks also in this? Uh, this B travels A minus B distance in uh, 5 seconds. Don't consider it A, yeah, A, B distance. This He covers this distance in 5 seconds. So what is that distance? It would be 8 meters per second into 5 seconds, so 40 meters. Okay. Correct, Sonima, you're right. Okay, that is generally a common mistake a lot of students do in their, like when they are close to answering, when they are asked, okay, they get the beat time or they get the, uh, like the speed and they quickly multiply it with the wrong thing and give the answer. So you have to remember that whenever you are trying to figure out beat distance from beat time, you have to multiply the guy who is beaten. Okay, 